India in 2023. Guys, in many ways, this is probably the beginning to a fairly interesting video series of adventure in the country that I think is very interesting. So yesterday I flew into the city of Chennai from Sri Lanka, Colombo, and I have really no idea what to expect. This city mainly was like, hey, flights are going there, could just do a short layover or stay for a bit, get a bit of an impression. So you're joining me today on, uh, yeah, pretty much the first full day in India. How are you doing, my man? That was a close call. Over the next few weeks, I want to show you this country from a side you might have not seen before. From the villages, to the beaches, to the big city. Welcome to India. In India, we are in a, I think, fairly interesting area. First thing you notice is the honking. It's quite crazy, actually, compared to Sri Lanka. But I think this area is actually fairly nice from what I hear. Lots of markets, bazaars. Chennai is generally famous for its beach. And uh, yeah, gonna be here for one full day. Yesterday I already checked out a little bit the mall. I think a video from that is coming as well. But uh, honestly, you know, I've been to Delhi once. Not for too long, actually twice, I think. Uh, second time I was there was a bit of an airport incident. I just saw I was on a layover, missed my flight, things like that. But uh, I have a lot of, let's say, interest and uh, appreciation for India, the culture, the media. And Chennai so far is quite a bit different than, hello, than uh, Delhi definitely, or at least this area. So it's called T Nagar. Let's see, so here is a bit busier to get some food over there. Really guys, I am genuinely taking today you a little bit on a first impression. So I put a dot on the map. Step number one, get a SIM card. Step number two, check out the local market here. Then maybe go to a different area. I have really no idea what to expect. And this is exactly how I like it. So fairly hot today. I would say 33, 34 degrees. I'm uh, nice and light, sports clothing. And uh, I don't know, I, honestly, I feel like it's kind of, kind of, oops, walking over real quick. Kind of a mostly cozy neighborhood, you could say. How you doing, man? All good? Cheers. Uh, lots of young people, definitely. Got a... So... Uh, what is your name? Uh, my name is Danny. Danny? Yes, what's your name? Dayam. Uh, Dayam? Dayam. Dayam, do you know who this is? The golden man? Do you know? Uh, no, don't know? Well, he cannot be too famous, my golden friend over here, because... People on the street don't know him. All right, so in some ways it's kind of funny. It reminds me very little bit in terms of the city structure of the city of Jakarta. So let's pass through. Let's see how we're gonna do that. So we put the dot on the map to get a SIM card. Let's try not to get hit by a car first. That would be good, I would say. All right, guys, see you in a second. Chennai, India, the first day. Okay guys, but before we continue with today's adventure, let me tell you about a thing that you probably should have if you're planning to travel, if you're planning to come to India. A travel a medical insurance is something that you probably should get. Personally, I am using Safety Wing. They're also today's video partner. Seriously guys, to stay safe on the road, travel medical insurance. The thing about them is they're fairly flexible. So you can book them for a couple of weeks or a couple of months if you are traveling so that makes them different to like competitors where you have to get them for a year or something safety when you can get it for two weeks for a month or use it as a long-term travel medical insurance of course worldwide coverage so if you're in india if you're traveling to bali thailand brazil whatever it might be safety wing has got you covered so i'll make sure to leave their link in the description you can just go check it out within a couple of minutes you're insured you can get the certificate even if you're already on the road Okay guys, I have to tell you, first thing I have noticed in, uh, here in Chennai already yesterday, I don't know if it's the neighborhood I am in. How are you? Sorry? I, I'm good. I'm good. I want to go right here. Thank you. Go that side lane out of there. Sorry? Go straight. The shops are there? There are so many shops. Yeah, yeah. I'll go again. All right. 
Uh, people definitely helpful. Um, yeah, there's like a famous market. So what I wanted to tell you is that actually in most Asian countries you see a lot of scooters. Here in Chennai, I'm seeing these amazing, what is this, Java, maybe a local brand, I don't know. The Royal Infield is quite heavy on the streets. Um, so yeah, this area famous for the market. We're going to be heading there in a second. But first, let's get some connections. Let's get connected with the world and get connected with the ground. Whatever that means. So guys, really interesting. We're walking, we're walking, we're running into some uh, very unique architecture. Let's say it like that. In some ways, like obviously this neighborhood almost reminds me a little bit of like an Eastern European old school, kind of like Odessa neighborhood in some ways, in some ways. Chennai is a huge city. I looked up uh, 6 million people, so I'm sure there's all kinds of different neighborhoods. But perhaps if I can show you from a more interesting, more nice site today, that would be good. But whatever will happen will happen we're probably gonna take some transport and just gonna get lost a little bit here today one full day gonna make the most out of it so guys while we're here on the road let's get a nice little refresher i guess let's see how much the sugar-free red bull is that would be good and perhaps maybe they have some some fruits for us looks like they're fruit heavy here 137 200 interesting guys no joke last time i had a red bull probably was when i was like 18 years old almost a good decade ago cheers interesting guys very very interesting so here we are right now on uh, yeah some kind of a shopping street nice little street crossing and i have to say very interesting uh haven't seen a place like that like I didn't even expect it it's kind of like a almost like European style in the sense walkable shopping street so basically on one side you got a bunch of stores on the other and I think in the front I've even seen some type of Apple store when I drove by earlier so very interesting so this is the T Nagar shopping district I think probably later on towards the day is gonna get even busier right now at 3 p.m. But um, yeah, the vibe here is actually pretty, pretty good. Around the corner, as we have seen the guy earlier, he said there is also some type of bazaar. He talked to me afterwards after I stopped recording. And uh, yeah, so let's discover here a little bit what is going on around T Nagar. So, got a little shoe store. Oh, wow, of course, of course, the Americans have been around here. There's a big McDonald's on the side corner. I feel like the other side is a little bit busier, so let's see if we can cross over there. Wow, yeah, seriously guys, you have to be careful walking around. I've uh, been almost hit like four or five times, but I guess people are experienced with that. Hopefully they are, because if not, you know, whoever finds this footage, please upload it. <laughs> so, wow, very, very interesting, I have to tell you. Uh, I don't think this is like a particularly touristy area on the one side judging from the I don't even know Chennai itself I'm sure there's a good amount of tourist spots but I haven't seen one foreigner yet in hours of walking actually yeah, since yesterday pretty much in this area which I personally really like so decently alive not too crazy busy here's the parking on the side of the road and really looks like they're going heavy here on jewelry on gold got a good amount of um, clothing shops as well so looks like I have chose the right neighborhood to stay actually a friend of mine he's also on YouTube Chris he said it's supposed to be a nice area so I was like yeah let's stay here and I have to tell you it's actually really interesting it's not like a, let's say washed out super clean just like purely tourist area I would say it's the opposite it's like a super a real uh, shopping district so yeah let's walk around let's see definitely need a sim card because until we have that I am not very mobile the gas station is being washed and of course you know you do see things like that as well every once in a while uh, let's see so trying to get a sim card huh it's a complicated process, but hope it will work. No smiling, right? Angry look. It's good? It's okay. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Very nice. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. Where is your guy's coffee? I'm the only one gonna be drinking? Yeah. So what was your names? Huh? What was your names? Me, my name is Amjada. Amjada? And her name is Malini. Miley? Malini. Malini. Okay, thank you for the SIM card, thank you for the coffee. <laughs> Guys, I have spent one hour at the SIM card shop, but the coffee? Wow, super sweet, like candy. <laughs> nice. Well, first Indian coffee. Very good. If the SIM card works, I'll be happy. The YouTube is this new. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys. This was quite. Um, I say it like that. It took a long time, but I've got actually real comfortable in the shop. So finally got data. Finally can order my Ubers easily. It was actually really sweet. I was like recording a little bit. She's like, "Are you recording secretly?" And I'm like, "No, not secretly. Is it okay?" <laughs> So basically, I've got like a one gigabyte data, which would have been only like $2.50 for the whole month. And I've got 50 gigabyte data on top. In total, I think I paid around like 8, do eight euro, $9, something like that. I'm calculating in my head. And uh, yeah, first day in India, we got mobile data now. Let's hit the streets. It really took a while. Seriously, I had to go back, grab the passport. Uh, some guys in another shop were just completely like shell-shocked when I told them like hey, I don't have an Indian ID So yeah, looks like we're definitely not in a tourist street so It was like a really long form that they filled out for me, but now I'm all set and I also think they pretty much uh, Used their ID to get me a sim card. So amazing shop Here's the local transportation Hello, this man is I think selling drinks on the road. Well, I already had one so now that we got a sim card and we're fully mobile a couple of hours I have left of daylight sun came out and there's supposed to be some type of famous market around the corner and I guess this is exactly where we're walking in already here right now so basically uh, the street back there has some nice shops even like uh, some type of uh, OnePlus Apple authorized sellers so really in, in some ways like even some fancy shops but walking into the back roads i like it so many fruits i wish if i would be going home would get some grapes some apples perhaps I'm gonna do that on the way back let's see i have to whip out the map and see where the market is okay it's called pondi bazaar that's where we headed it's funny guys everywhere i walk around here there's this battery amaron last long really long you know you could be selling other stuff with that slogan as well last long really long <laughs> seriously on every corner i see this advertisement and now i just my mind went to other places but yeah this might be a morning market because it's really quiet here right now so let's go back So walking around here at Tinagar Main Street, I arrived at some interesting intersection. It just honestly gets kind of like nicer and nicer. Here we got another golden man. And this over there, I think is one of the famous hotels. Uh, what is it? Crown, I think. So crossing streets, I would say, is the hardest part about this experience here. But Life is not meant to be easy. So walking down the road towards sunset, perhaps I'm thinking to head towards the beach. I think is another somewhat famous part in Chennai. And uh, yeah, just generally very happy that I ended up in this part of the city. I think it's a nice mix of just somewhat of a local experience, yet fairly walkable, fairly, I mean, actually really pleasant to be around. So the Crown Hotel. Uh, I've seen on Google when I looked around a little bit, they have a rooftop, maybe, perhaps, perhaps, depending on when I'll be around here, check that out. So yeah, very much of a shopping district, nice first impression of Chennai. I don't know, is this a place to, let's say, put on your tourist map? Maybe not necessarily, but especially if you're planning to come from Colombo, this city, so far, very, very pleasantly surprises me. 
uh, much more chill than like let's say a big city like Delhi or something like that but yeah I also saw there's an MRT running and uh, yesterday when I took a tuk tuk it kind of looked actually fairly interesting so let's see maybe we might end up hopping on some production happening here interesting okay guys here certainly right now a very very different vibe big road big streets the man is trying to cross with the bicycles wow okay so somewhere around the corner here is supposed to be an mrt as well i could be hopping on a tuk tuk which we're gonna do later probably to get to the beach but that'll be interesting as well so let's get the full experience all right looks like we can find a cross here right now seriously keeping all three of my eyes open right now to get across wow you know just a just a cheeky walk along the highway why not why not well 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 so loud and busy india chennai guys i think i'm gonna take right now the mrt i was thinking about hopping on the tuk tuk but then i saw it driving by and it looks kind of interesting i have no idea how it works in india when they build it but i am seeing this station right here tainam pet metro and uh, roughly i looked up on google maps put a dot on the map where i could be going and I would say today I'm gonna take you along on the MRT experience of India. And honestly, it looks pretty, pretty good so far, pretty solid. All right, we're gonna be going down. So this is for upstairs. So there's two things I'm interested in. All right, announcement. Okay, guys, so this is the station over here. I can buy a ticket here? Yeah. Ticket, okay. Well, let's see where we're going then in the first place. Hello, uh, can I have a ticket to, let's see, to Purati Talaivar? 30 rupees, okay. Okay guys, here we are inside. As so frequently I've been informed, they don't want you to film, but let's see. Honestly, it looks like, I don't know, it looks a little bit like the Dubai Metro in some ways, just from the colorways, looks very, very new in many ways. So i think this is my side so you get like a little token you put it inside okay we are at tainam pet oh and okay yes this should be our side how are you doing sorry uh, just for my mom just like a little video yeah, yeah okay maybe that will help with the recordings but <laughs> all right so and here we are so let's just locate us a little bit i think we're right here and we're gonna be going all the way up there just kind of like so it's a busy area so walking through honestly this looks absolutely like the singapore metro probably just with the one slight difference that the handles are a little bit higher generally i don't know if it depends on the region where you are in india but i feel like people here are pretty pretty tall just between the two of us and it's kind of I don't know, it's kind of reflected by these things fairly high some countries really notice they put them a good bit lower so yeah it's gonna be like 10 stops honestly i like it especially just you know being in a busy place sometimes in singapore i think i've been three months ago in singapore they still make you wear the masks good vibe in here and really modern actually uh probably in a somewhat newer condition than the singapore mrt at least some of them so let's keep walking let's see a little bit looks like they're advertising one event currently must be the big one because it's on every single billboard they have but yeah i think not too much difference if we're gonna keep walking this is the mrt of chennai Looks like we're getting off at a popular stop. 
right? You have to fight to get out. But yeah, overall, like a super solid metro to get around. Metro boom and make some noise. Alrighty, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Uh, actually, I have to tell you, considering it's a fairly low tourism country, people are respectfully paying attention to what you're doing. You know, like looking at you. But yeah, let's get out and let's see what we can find. Should be kind of like a central stop, some government buildings. No idea how this area of town is gonna look like. We shall find out. It looks like we have arrived at, I guess this is the central station. I see a lot of signs saying central. This looks like, I would guess, a colonial building or perhaps made in the style of such. Yeah, interesting. Busyness. But yet still, overall, I think I have been to Delhi once and uh, comparing to that, it's actually, you know, so far much, much calmer, everything in general. Wow. Man is doing corn, and I think I am on the market for some of that. Oh, yeah. How much is one? Uh, 30 rupees. 30? Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's do two. That's some nice looking corn right here. Sorry? Ukraine. Ukraine. You can. Ukraine. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You also involved in the corn business, or you're just just looking? Ah, okay. Oh. I'm Indian Army. Sorry? Army. Indian, Indian Army. Army. Nice, okay. From Chennai? Chennai. Born yeah. here? Nice, nice, nice. Chennai super. Super, super. Super, yeah. Super. Of course. Super, Chennai super. Super, the best. Ah. Okay, this one's mine? 60. 100 for you, no change. Ah. Thank you. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Ah, okay. All righty, guys. I'm always in the market for some corn. This is some freaking juicy corn. But I have to tell the spicing that he's putting on here, on the one side, I'm not that into it. Hopefully my stomach is. But wow, yeah, it's really juicy. And it looks like I'm in the middle of the central station here. If you can find the crowd anywhere, it's at 6 p.m. at the central station. Wow, beautiful building. Okay, let me finish this up here. We have finished the corn, of course. Of course we have. Okay guys, quite surprisingly, I have to tell you, this is one of the nicest train stations that I've ever seen, especially when you don't see it coming. It's actually also pretty well maintained from the outside. Definitely. So you got this red building, the pink buses, whoever is responsible for the color choices deserves a race. And uh, yeah, especially like, uh, like in so many squares, they have the Indian flag flying, nice windy breeze. So yeah, definitely a vibe out here. Here's another corn man. At first I didn't quite like the chili on it. Then I got a bit, let's say, warmed up to the flavor. And now it's burning on my lips still. But yeah, very good investment. I hope there's not too much between the teeth. Probably not the best food if you're recording, but yeah, the vibe here is definitely something. So just gonna walk around a little bit and then probably catch a tuk-tuk to get in time for sunset to the beach. Okay guys, so if you're already here, I thought, why not come in, take a look, get a vibe off the train station. Never seen a train station in India before. Very large place, good amount of people. And uh, yeah, I like the sign. It has the names where it's headed pretty largely on them. It's in the wide angle, so you don't quite see it. But yeah, trains to Jaipur, even uh, Bangalore going from here. Jaipur, I think, is actually quite far. So, yeah, here's like a seating area in the back. There's shops and uh, overall looks fairly definitely usable. Could be taking a train. So, yeah, here, West Coast, Chennai double decker. I wonder how that looks. Let's take a look up the train here. Okay, dogs are excited about it. Yeah, pretty large trains. Okay guys, definitely I made it into this area during the rush hour. The skills of carrying bags on your head are definitely admirable. Wow, no seriously, this looks really nice actually. Just in the sense of like, you know, appreciating the aesthetic of the old 
building. This guy running by in a goofy way with his villain in his hand. And uh, yeah, I think this is mostly a sun cover, perhaps also a rain cover that they have here. And I've also looked up some other famous government building, 10 minute walk. We're gonna be heading there right now. But yeah, that has been a little bit the experience of first time taking an MRT here in India. Got from the area of Tinagar to the central station very easily. What was it, like 30 rupees? So like, you know, you can imagine a couple of cents, 20 cents. And uh, efficient way to get around. What I really enjoy in Chennai so far is that it's actually outside of the horns right next to the street, which you will get pretty much likely everywhere in India. It's really chill even during rush hour. People go about their daily business but still everything is kind of like i don't know like i'm really impressed by the city and i'm uh, in the sense that i just thought i would have a one day layover i wasn't even sure if i want to head out if i want to film anything but in terms of like say the density of different old buildings and also how fairly easy it is to get around the city i think a friend of mine has been here and he said it's like hmm, he didn't really see anything too interesting but i think like with uh, so many cities uh, you have to find your right corners. I'm very happy that uh, I stayed in this area of Tinagar. And uh, look at that. So basically we're walking by, uh, I'm not sure, this is the church, some type of cathedral looking building which is under restoration. And this in the back looks really, really cool. Here we have another old building to the left. Lots of history here. So walking in here into the Greater Chennai Corporation. Ripon building so kind of like a little park here right next to the train station 1913 so this place has been around for over a hundred years definitely doing a really good job at maintaining it and i like that right next to the train station very very nice vibe i mean in the sense of like there's something to see uh, many train stations you know with most cities the train station is always the most tricky part Yes, let's get a tuk-tuk, I would say, from around here. And let's head for a little beach sunset. Your photographer is ready. Let's go. Okay, photo shoot. Photo shoot. There we go. Ah, Portrait mode, perfect. All right. There you go. Thank you. Sure. All right. Ready to go. Up, uh, it's uh, 6955. Yes, let's go to the beach. Oh well, double check always. We have made it to the beach and not just a beach. Not the beach from the movie with Leo DiCaprio, not like that, but the second longest beach in the world. I've just seen it on Google Maps when I looked it up. All right, look at these ravens here. Okay, guys, whoa, yo. Those are the moments, those are the moments. That's how short life is. Motorbike, almost an e-bike. I think he wasn't giving the gas. Whew. So, made it to the beach. It is extremely wide. I think it's gonna take me like probably a good 10 minutes to just get down to the water which we see all the way back there yeah second longest beach in the world here in Chennai. i have to tell you the beach itself obviously you know rough around the edges but just driving around um, chennai a lot of really interesting memorials very well maintained just driving off the highway different gates so in terms of that chennai seems to be a really interesting city the beach here i don't know if there's like more interesting areas uh let's say like that don't see a reason to necessarily come again even though perhaps maybe if there's like some nice hotels or something like that i saw there is um some type of monument at the beginning of it looked really cool so yeah basically impressions of chennai impressions of my first day in india i am quite happy that the area i'm staying is fairly calm then i've been in the central station history to the brim and um 
just generally I didn't expect much so whenever your expectations are let's say being exceeded is always kind of nice uh, for one day layover I'm actually really happy that I stayed I could have like flown out right away but stayed two nights one full day and this has been a little bit Chennai India for you if you're new here by any chance well here on the God World to see channel I document my life wow seriously it has been uh, I feel like I've seen so many different sides of the city it has been a long day probably gonna be heading home now yeah. okay and so with that being said this is just the beginning of the India series I am super pumped for it there's gonna be a good couple of weeks next is Goa then Mumbai and then well we will see if you're new here make sure to subscribe and also you can join me on Instagram see where I am all right now the videos always come out slightly later maybe still in India maybe already on a different continent well you got a world to see damn this place is busy probably out of all the places I've seen today this is let's say the most busy intense one